So this is my current setup and it isn't anything special so in this video I'm going to be turning my potato setup into my dream setup so let's get into it. And first things first what I did is just take apart my setup and cleared out my room. Once I finished tidying up my setups, my room felt so empty. And now we're going up to the ply guy to get the wood for my desk and my backboard. So after we cut my desk, I put it in my room and it looks so big. But there was this little bit of, uh, wood that chipped off the desk and I just put glue in it and put a can of pasta sauce on it and this is what oh came off my that? desk just my pc my monitors and stuff like that so now all I have to do is take apart my old desk and the last screw now we went to Maritin to pick up some stuff for the desks we got paint, brushes, and we got wood glue, we got brackets for the desks, and then we got screws and some cable ties. And then we put the L brackets onto pieces of wood into the studs in the wall, then we bring the desk in, and now we're going to glue uh, some pieces of wood to where we're going to drill or screw the L brackets to the desk. And now I'm just sanding down the disc to get it smooth and nice to paint on. We installed the disc into my room to see how it looked. And it looks great. I like the floating look that it gives off. Then we installed the backboard. And then we went back up to Maritain and got some wood filler. And filled in all the screw holes in the backboard. And now we're painting. Painting the desk, I think, were three coats of white and two coats of black. So this is what it came out looking like, and it's very nice and clean. Um, this is where the racing sim setup is going to be. It's going to be in a further video. And now I'm setting up my setups and waiting for the packages that I've bought to arrive. So it's been a couple of days and the products I ordered have arrived, or some of them have. I think this is the SSD, the Crucial P5 Plus. And the other thing that came in the mail was the monitor mounts that mount to the wall. But in my case, it will be the backboard that I'll be mounting them to. Now it's time to install the SSD. So I hooked up one of the monitor mounts to the backboard and next I just have to put the bracket onto the monitor and then hook it up to the monitor mount. And then the exact same thing for the second monitor mount. And as you can see, the monitor started to fall. So I just screwed in a little screw in the back of the monitor mount and it went back to the right height. And the reason I bought these monitor mounts is because they are height adjustable. And now that the monitors are set up, they look clean floating. So it's been a while since I set up the monitor mounts and the SSD, but this package came in the mail. And in this package, we got an electric screwdriver, some PC fans, the RX6600 GPU, and a power supply.
and my phone just decided to fall while I was unboxing my power supply. Now to install the GPU, the fans, and the power supply. Well, my electric screwdriver was hitting the side of my case, so I just used the normal screwdriver to finish off the screws. Don't ask me why I have my SSD just chilling there just like that. The screws on the fan were too stiff so you couldn't use the electric screwdriver so I just used the normal screwdriver. I got the fans out of my PC except for the ones on my radiator because they're already ARGB and you can already adjust their fan speed. Now all I have to do is install the new fans and fix that SSD. Now that I got everything installed, all I have to do now is pretty much tidy up my setup and show you the final results. So let's do that. <laughs> And that's the end of the video, so see ya.